and welcome to Mobile World Congress 2017. We're here with Vinay Kanadkar. He's Chief Technology Officer at Akamai, and Vinay, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely, thanks for being here. Um, I want to ask you first of all, uh, just for our viewers, can you give us a brief uh, introduction to the primary uh, purpose of a content delivery network? So primarily, a CDN exists to uh, make the performance of a site better. So right from the beginning, you know, when we first started having the, in, you know, the web, the internet, and websites for that matter, even though they had very little content on them, uh, the inventor of HTTP, Tim Berners-Lee, realized that it was going to be a challenge to scale the internet infrastructure to deliver good performance all of, over the world. So, you know, he was talking to our founder, Tom Layton, and his student, Danny Lewin, about how we could address this problem. And that's really, you know, in thinking about this problem is how Akamai was born. So we started out deploying servers everywhere so that you could cache content closer to end users. But then we realized that on top of this platform, we could build uh, essentially uh, ways to route around congestion on the internet, uh, be able to deliver high quality videos, and then, you know, finally today offer uh, many, many security offerings that essentially allow you to take care of attacks or handle attacks far away from where you're hosting your critical infrastructure. So if I'm a consumer, I'm an end user, I'm in, let's say, London, and your server located in San Francisco, the CDN's purpose is to reduce the latency between London, San Francisco, back to London, is that right? Actually, maybe a half of it is right. So uh, what a CDN will do, like us, is deploy servers in London on every ISP. And really, that's what we do very well through our partnerships with uh, network operators and ISPs. So we have servers in more than 3,000 locations uh, in about 800 cities. And the idea is that our system will r identify which are the closest servers to you from a latency perspective and send you to those servers. So you will go to servers in London on your ISP so long as they're not overloaded. If they're overloaded, then the mapping, our system, our load balancing system will find the next best servers for you. And so we reduce the latency for the content, for your uh, connection to the CDN through the mapping. And then we have, as I said, an overlay platform through across all these that we can actually even reduce the latency between London and San Francisco. But that's a secondary piece. So Vinay, uh, uh, Akamai has over 200,000 servers that you manage. What's the primary challenge in, in managing those servers? The primary challenge, I think, is in the developing the software that allows us to automatically identify when servers are down, when clusters are down, when even entire data centers are down, and find the next best ones for any end user. So from a software perspective, we are you know, working constantly to make sure that if a server dies, no one needs to rush out there to fix it immediately. Right. We, the software will essentially make sure that an end user notices no problems from a performance or reliability perspective, and we will make sure in the background that the servers that die, that the, the clusters that have problems are being fixed by our NOC and our engineering teams. So, you know, we don't really manage the hardware as such, we, we, we build this, the software that allows us to uh, work or treat essentially any piece of hardware as expendable. I want to ask you about cloud and data security. What's the responsibility of a CDN when it's, as far as uh, the transition or transmission of data back and forth? Our primary goal is in that context is to keep the data secure. Right? We've so as you realize that in you know, the last couple of years, security has become the the main problem that most internet businesses, banks face. And so, across all across our platform, we have to keep the content secure. We have to make sure that you know, none of the end users or the banks or the, any content provider's secrets are compromised, and to continue to do that with the same performance we've delivered all these years. I want to move towards uh, website and mobile performance. Of course, you've talked about a little bit that a little bit already. Can you give us an example of uh, sort of optimizing that website and mobile performance and how Akamai plays a role in that? So there's there's a number of ways in which we can optimize a website's performance for mobile. Uh, one of the key ones is to identify that in 
end user is coming from a mobile device on a mobile network, right? For a long time, we didn't really have that capability across the industry. Now we can identify that it's in a specific network, what kind of device they're using, and get very good understanding on what their connectivity is, right? Because even if it's the latest device, if you are connected to a 2G tower, it's a whole different perspective as when you connect to an LTE tower. And so tr understanding that connection, being able to select the right protocol to deliver the content, being able to adapt the content appropriately for the quality of the connection and the device is you know, something that we've built into our machines, into all our servers, the you know, 200,000 plus men that you mentioned, and we do it automatically so that we are not having to do manual configurations to, to, you know, to identify mobile devices or things like that, but to build in these optimizations automatically. Now, of course, not every uh, enterprise, uh, small or, or medium size, may be able to really afford a, a CDN. Who's your primary uh, customer target? Are you looking to expand that customer base? We absolutely are, and especially from a security perspective, because it, you know, some websites uh, may not need the same level of performance or scale, but everybody needs the security that a CDN uh, provides, and so, We've traditionally had, you know, really the big brands across the world be our customers, but we are working very hard to produce uh, simpler self-service configurations so that, you know, much broader uh, set of potential customers could actually use our services. You know, basic delivery services, security services that uh, allow us to penetrate across the, you know, affordability uh, range, but also across all geos. Benet, is there an innovation coming out of uh, CDNs that maybe we haven't heard quite uh, too much about yet, but we'll be hearing about soon? So there's a number of things that you know we are working on. Uh, one of it is 4K at scale, because as you might have noticed, uh, essentially every uh, you know everybody, anybody who has access or rights to content is trying to go direct to consumer. There's the Direct TV Now service, you know, HBO went direct to consumer. And we are seeing that trend truly start to accelerate across the world. So, you know, across Europe, across Asia. So I think that, you know, still remains a key challenge when, you know, two or three years from now, 90% of the traffic is high, you know, high definition or 4K IP video. Uh, the next big one is security where, you know, we've come a long way, but, but we have, you know, a very large research team working on truly identifying uh, the sources of attacks, the sources of you know malware and phishing uh, content, and being able to dynamically uh, protect people from them. And then there's IoT, of course, which is a whole new frontier because traditionally CDNs were built for the content to go from the content sources, content providers, out towards end users. And now what we have is many times more billions of devices that are sending data in towards the content providers, you know, your thermostats, your cars, uh, your refrigerators. And that actually you know, provides Akamai with a unique opportunity because we are so broadly deployed across the world. We can do a lot of that computing and uh, data validation on the edge of the network rather than having to bring all that data to something you know, like a cloud service, Azure or AWS, and do it there. So we can do a lot of that processing, a lot of that decision making at the edge, whether it's at the edge of the fixed networks or mobile networks, and allow very quick response times. Right? It's one of those key sort of uh, goals of 5G, for example, which is to provide a one millisecond latency. And you really can't do that without being able to do this computation very close to end users. So we think that, you know, especially in the IoT space, we have a lot of innovation uh, coming in the next couple of years. Then it'll be interesting to see how these content delivery networks will take advantage of these technologies like 5G and IoT. So this time next year, we'll circle back and talk to you about that a little bit more. Sure, absolutely. Thanks, Vinay. And uh, once again, to all our viewers, right here from Mobile World Congress 2017, you can get all of TI Now's content by logging on to tinow.org. So long. Mm -hmm.